I had finished high school and I went, right, I'm going to plan a trip and go on some awesome adventure. You know, every kid has dreams of going on crazy adventures. Some of us just don't lose those, those fantasies. Clark actually spotted Victoria Island. It was just this incredible lost world that we'd never noticed before. So the plan was to become the first people to walk across Victoria Island unsupported. What have we done? We're thousands of kilometres from anywhere. Oh my God. I didn't want to make any money. I didn't want to be famous. I just wanted to go out and be irresponsible for a while. Yeah. It was exactly like a boy's own road trip, but without the road and without the car. <laughs> yes, we're getting a bit silly. And Chris is starting to believe this must go. No, this no. Oh my God. I'm directing me to you, sweet misery. We completely, totally and utterly underestimated everything to do with the expedition. We had to somehow rack up 15 kilometres a day, every single day, to get to the far side before our food ran out. And we were doing, you know, one kilometre a day, two kilometres a day. Right now, what I'd like to do is Go up in a little ball, throw up, and go to sleep. Reality sets in and you, you have to admit that you're not going to get there. Basically you failed. And that was really difficult to do. It was like someone just flicked a switch inside me. We were just, that's it. We have to finish what we started. We had to get there. We had no option to fail this time. Three years later, we're back in the same spot. We're just going to try a bit of billy carting down the hill. <laughs> That's awesome. We come to this grinding halt and the axle had snapped. We dumped our spare axle. We dumped our spare axle a few days ago. You know what? Fuck you, Victoria Island. I'm going to finish this, even if it means we get there on our hands and knees crawling, but we're going to get there. We're going to get there.